Hi everyone, this is Dave from Diecast Toys Plus here. If you're new to my channel, hit like and subscribe. Um, today we're going to do a video just of some random Hot Wheels and some random Matchbox cars I had sitting around. It's nothing spectacular, but it's, I don't know, some of it's pretty cool. And some of it's like new, like this one here we got here. We'll start out with this old, this, this Hot Wheels here. We'll work, we'll, and then we'll work our way around. Um, so this is a random video. I had some cars sitting around. I figured I'd put them together and do a little video here. Some stuff I had laying around. Um, so this one here is the Do 08 Dodge Challenger SRT8. And this is the yellow version. This is, uh, I'm not even sure what year this came out. Because it's lucid. I don't have it in the package anymore. And it says Hemi on the hood. You can see that. It's got the sunroof in it, which is cool. It's kind of cool that they made one with a sunroof in it. So, yeah, we have that that little Dodge. And that's a newer version, of course. Um, some of these, most of this stuff is older. There's a, there's a few cars here that are newer, like that one. And these two here, these are the Ford Fusion police cars. Ford Fusion, Hot Wheels, Malaysia. Uh, these are probably out of, like... These are either out of nine packs or five packs or something. These two police cars. I, I don't. I'm not sure. They're not. They're not mainline cars. They're. They're just uh, like five pack or ten pack cars. Nice clear glass on that red interior. So this is a cool casting. Actually, it's kind of. A, it's a nice casting. I like. I like this Ford Fusion casting that they have out. And then here's another police car. It's it actually looks like about the same temp of work. Um, you know, on the sides, it looks the same. Got the flame. Just a white version of the of the blue one. And it's got black interior instead of red. They both have the chrome base. Didn't realize that it was actually the same temple work. Until just now. Yeah, that's cool. So two different versions. But like I said, these are not... I don't think these are, these are mainline cars. I think these are five-pack cars. Five-pack or ten-pack cars. One of the two. So then we got another car here. We got this Shelby Cobra um, Daytona. That's what it is. Shelby Cobra Daytona in silver. And it's got the 59 on it. Now this is a mainline car here. This is not a pack car. Because I have another one that has a 59 on it too. And this this one here looks really nice. This green. like a, It's like a green or... I don't know what car you would call that, but that looks really sharp. I like the wheels on on this one too. These are the open wheels, the five spoke open wheels. This one's really sharp looking. This one here is the five spoke, but they're closed. You can't see through like you can these. These you can see right through them. These are actually nicer wheels on this car. This is actually a nicer looking car in my opinion compared to the silver the silver one. And then I have. A Cobra. This has got a metal base on it. A black metal base on this. And these also have the hoods that open. And it just says Cobra on the, on the hood. It doesn't have the 427 Cobra on this one. And I don't think this is I don't think this is black wall. This is after the black walls. So this is probably 90s version. Somewhere in the 90s. They made a bunch of these red ones. There's a lot of red ones out there. So that's kind of a newer one, not not one of the older ones. And then I have this Baja Breaker, the Simpsons Baja Breaker van. And that's got a metal base on it too. Which is nice that it's got a metal base. And it actually sits nice and rolls nice. It's not sagging down like a lot of these Baja Breakers. They kind of, they like to sit down. They like to sag down on them. They kind of get wore out. No opening hood, but this van it's got Lisa on one side and it's got Bart on the other side. But it's a sight van, and inside there, I don't know if we can see in there, you can see the Simpsons are in there. It's one of those seen, seen it, seen it vans. Let's see if I can get it to focus in there, and you can kind of it's hard to see in the camera, but there's the Simpsons are inside there. It's a picture of the Simpsons. 
So that's pretty cool. I didn't even realize that that's how these came until I got this one. I just actually just, this one I just got a few days ago on, on eBay. I picked it up off of eBay. So this was a, a recent purchase. The rest of these I've had for a little while. Some of them I had for quite a while, actually. Like this one here, I've had for quite a while here. This is a Hot Wheel Scorcher. Scorchers. And this is all plastic. Plastic base, plastic body. And this is a 77, 78 Ford Thunderbird. And I love this car. This car is awesome. This is, I wish someone would make this casting. It'd be nice to see Auto World, Auto World make one of these castings. This is such a nice body style car. I'll have to get another one because the bumper is broken off. And I know there's a white version of this I need too. I want to I want to get the white version eventually and maybe get another one of these black ones since that bumper is broken. But you can tell it's I've had this for quite a while. I, I think this is probably one of those cars from my ch when I was a kid. That's how long I've had it. And it's uh I love this body style car. It's such a pretty body style car. I remember when I was working at the salvage yard, man, we sold a lot of parts off these cars. These cars were really good parts cars. People really liked these cars. They were good sellers back there in the 70s when Ford made it. That was a real nice car they made. And what else we got here? We've got, we'll go with this guy. Got this 70 Mercury uh, Cyclone. 70 Mercury Cyclone. This has got a plastic base actually in it, but it has rear riders on it. And this is a garage car. This Mercury's uh one of those garage cars. And this is the blue version. And this was uh this one here is the only one I have like this that's open. All my other ones are all sealed in the package. I have all all five garage cars actually. There were five of them. This is the only one I have loose. The rest are all somewhere in storage. I uh, want to do a video eventually of all of them because I think I have all these Mercury's that Hot Wheels made. I have seven of them. As far as I know, I think there's only seven of these castings ever made that I'm aware of. I could be wrong. I have all seven. I have five garage cars, a 100% car, and a vintage racing one. So one of these days I'll get them all gathered up and do a video on them. For now, this is the only one I have loose, and that's the way I bought it. I bought it off of eBay loose. Uh, what else we got here? Let's go with this guy here, the front runner. Front runner Ford Fairmont metal base on this one. This is a real nice casting. I like this casting a lot. And this is the Fireball Junior. This is the one you see everywhere. The, the blue one. I mean, this red version. There's you see this one every, everywhere. This, this is not a hard car to find. It's got the gold wheels on it from the Hot Ones or the gold. I think that's. I think that's the name of the series, Hot Ones. But I also have it in the white version. And the white version here is a little harder to come by. You don't see the white one as much. So it's kind of, it's really cool to have both the white one and the and the blue and the red one. Both have metal bases. I'm not sure if there's another wheel change. If they just have the regular black wall wheels, not this gold wheels. If they come out like that, I'm not sure. These both have the gold wheels. So they're pretty cool cool to have those and I have this poison pinto this is a black wall car this has a plastic base though it's a plastic base car this is 1974 on the bottom or 70 I think it says 74 or 75 I know there's a, a red line wheel car version of this with the red line wheels this one's not that of course it's got that big old plastic motor on it chrome interior it's a nice little pinnel wagon it's cool cool casting really cool casting it's the only one I have like this is this one uh, there's I know there's a bunch of different ones out there one of these days I'll pick up some more but for now this is the only one I have it's they're kind of pricey they're hard to they're hard to pick up cheap so but yeah, that's a, I like that casting. That's a real nice casting. And then let's see here. We got this one here I have. And this is spring break. Red lines. This is the school bus. And this is that it's not a red line wheel car. It's got red line wheels on it, but that's not a, a legit from the 70s, 60s red line wheel car. This is from probably the 90s. 
got that pink hood scoop uh, blower scoop on there but this is a cool casting here let's it say there it says vintage vintage on the bottom there I think 35th anniversary made in China so yeah this is definitely not a uh, you know it's not one of those uh newer uh, older one it's an older vehicle but it's not the older worth you know hundreds of dollars type vehicle but it's cool it's still a cool bus to have cool drag bus this one here is hong kong based on this guy so that it's that's a cool bus to have but i also have a second cool bus too and this is a gold one 854 ci ci 854 cubic inch motor this one doesn't have i don't have the uh holder that holds the body up on this one it's missing but this is a gold version and it's the same thing vintage on the bottom made in china metal base at least they have metal bases that's nice and it's nice that it's got a metal base on it that's a cool van cool truck though it's a really cool casting to have hot wheels logo on the roof I only have the two of them. Those are the only two castings of that I have, which is, I guess that's fine. You know, it's it's a cool casting to have, though. I think I like it. All right, that's uh, that's my Hot Wheels. Now we'll get into the Matchbox stuff. I have this one here. It's got yellow base, no, number seventy-five Alpha Car Carbaro Carbaro, made in England, nineteen seventy. It says on the bottom. This was the first release of this car. In this like purplish color. I think that there's another, an unpainted base for this particular car besides this yellow base one. So I don't have that, but I have the. This is the second color of it, an updated one. It's kind of beat up. It is in beat up shape, and that a base is bent on it too. It needs to be replaced with a nicer one, but for now. We'll take what I take what I can get and you know and this is the an updated one from this one and on that car. And let's see, we'll go with we'll go with this guy here next. And this is this the Saab Saab Sonic 3. Number 56? Oh, number 65. And this is a Lesney England based car. And the, this one actually has the back hatch that opens up on it, which is pretty cool. That's plastic, but otherwise the car is metal on metal. These are all metal on metal, too. These uh, Alfa Carraro cars. And there's, all these old Lesney super fast cars are all got metal on metal, which is kind of cool. You know. So there's that guy. And then I have this guy here. And this is a Dodge Charger Mark 7, 1970, number 62. What year was this one here? 1973. This is 73. This is 1970, and the hatch opens. Get the black interior. This is the first version of it with the red base. And there's also this red version. You know what? Maybe the red version might be the older one. I can't remember now which one came out first, the red one or the green one. See, and they just replaced it. Green base, red base, green body, red body. 1970. And it's got the opening hatch on it, too. I'm not a, these are the only fantasy cars I like to, ca I like to, I like to collect are these old Lesney from the 70s matchbox stuff or hot wheels from the 70s otherwise i'm not really a fantasy car collector for the most play for the most part but i do like my i definitely like my uh matchbox anything from the 70s i like I, that's my favorite uh, era my favorite cars to collect and this guy here at the back opens on it this is the mazda rx 500 number 66 1971 made in england 
Got a white base on it. It's got like a purplish color glass on it. And it's got chrome interior. And there's the motor in the back. So I have that version and I have the green version of it. I'm missing the red version. I don't there's a red version of this car. I don't have the red one. And there's the back of that one. It opens too. It's got the motor in there. This is the green. Made in Hong this was on uh, this one here is made in Hong Kong. So this one's made in Hong Kong. That one is Lesney, made in England. This one's made in Hong Kong. This might be the uh they did a series in the like early 80s and they they did it in number I'm like this says number 65 on it but and uh they did like a Roman numeral number stuff on the cars. I wonder if this is one of those Roman numeral cars because it has a Hong Kong base. Not a Lesney base. That's interesting. Didn't realize that. But yeah, there you go. Mazdas. And then I have this guy here, and this is a Lotus Europa, 1969. It's got the thin wheels on it, got a tow hook on the back, and it has opening doors. Opening doors on there. And I have the purple or pink colored one too. See now, here is when I was... Here's the deal. In 70, they put these thin wheels on. And in 71, they put the thicker wheels on these Lesney cars. And here's an example of that. The first year, they, this is 69. This car, 70 was the first year for the super fast where the whole series went. But in 69, I think they introduced a few cars. And they didn't put the Lesney wheels on it. They put these super fast wheels on them in 69. Some like halfway, so this car was probably produced or introduced like halfway through '69 to get people to get adjusted to the different wheel uh, variations, and those wheels are actually different, different kind of style, basically the same style wheel but a little different. This one, the tow hook is missing on, and the door is open on it. You can see it's got the thicker wheels. On this one, this one is made in England, 69. So 71, they came out with these thicker wheels, and then 70, they had the thin wheels. And there's an example of what they, how it was. I had, um, I had a Porsche that had, it was the exact same car. It had, one, one had the thin wheel, and one had the thick wheel. It was the 910 Porsche. I don't know if I still have both of them or not. I Wish I had all my stuff out so I can find it. But yeah. There's this guy here. And we have this one here. This is a... It's got the thin wheels on it. This is the Ford Cortina. Cortina. And number 25, but it doesn't have a year on it. Because this car is actually a regular... Lesney, regular wheel body style car. This is from the 60s era. When, uh... Lesney, when they still had the uh, the, Les, the old Lesney wheels on there. And this one has opening doors. And a tow hook on the back. And then the Lesney version is not blue. It's a brown, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a brown colored car. And this is a pretty cool casting. I like this casting a lot. An old European Ford. It's really cool. It's a sharp little car. It's got the right hand steering wheel. Actually, these Lotuses have the right-hand steering wheel, too. So it's pretty cool. And the rest of them, uh, they all have the left steering wheel. That's a cool one, too. Then I have a few more castings here. Next, I have this one here. This is a Mercedes-Benz staff car. And this car only comes in a two-pack, an Army two-pack. And it has this car, and it has the Mercedes uh, ambulance. But uh, I got, I bought this one separate. I bought it off of eBay years ago. It has all this marker on the back. I still need to find the the Mercedes ambulance in this military green. 
I don't have that one, but I have this one here. And it's the only way this car came out was in that two pack. So it's nice to have it. I'm glad I have it. I really like it a lot. I don't have the regular mainline version of it, which is brown, if I'm not mistaken. It's a brown car. So this one doesn't have, it just says Made in England, Lesney, Matchbox Series, Mercedes 300 SE, super fast. But it doesn't have a year. And it's probably, because this is like the Cortina, it came out in the 60s somewhere. It's a 60s body style car. I just not, I think it came out like 60, I think this one came out in 68, the first one. And this is the military staff car version. I don't know about that one. Then uh, we have this guy here. This is the Mercury Cougar. It's got the thin wheels because this is the only year this car. This car came out in 68, I think. It's the number 62 Mercury Cougar. And it came out in the same color green as a Lesney wheel car with opening doors. It's got a tow hook on the back. And in 1970, it has these super fast wheels on it. And that was the only year... It had the super fast wheels was 1970 because then in 71 they came out with this guy the, the rat rod car same mercury same casting except they put the big motor in it still has a tow hook bigger wheels in the back and it says mercury cougar number 62 made in england 1970 it says on the cast on the bottom of this one so it's got a different base Definitely different base than the uh, the other Mercury. And they both say super fast on there. So yeah, there's a... But it's the same body style car, more or less, except they changed it up. You know, put this motor in there. Put these decals on the side of it. Sealed the doors. They don't open no more. So it's this real light colored green. Kind of ugly color, but nevertheless, it's still a pretty. It's a it's a pretty cool car. It looks really cool with that motor sticking out of it. And then the last one in this in this video is going to be this Mustang. And this is the orange Wildcat Mustang with the black base and number eight, 1970 Lesney. And before this, it was in white. It came out in 60, the original car came out in 66, I think. And it was a white car. And then in 70, they had it in white and they had it in red with the super fast wheels. You know, these wheels here came out in two different colors in 70. And those are very expensive to find, very expensive cars. And then 71, they did like the Mercury. They put the big motor in it, the bigger tires, changed the base on it. Still has the tow hook like all the other ones. And there's I there's this is the orange. I know there's a pink version of this car too out there. And I think there's base variations. Like this is black. I think it comes with a chrome base. Unpainted. And this one's just a black painted base. There's a few different variations of this Mustang out there. Besides this orange one. There's you know, I know there's a pink one. There's some other orange ones, like I say, with a chrome unpainted base, and I don't know, there might be some, uh, maybe a different uh, tempo on decal on the side too. So yeah, the two souped-up cars there. So yeah, this is uh, just a little quick video of some cars I have sitting around. I'll give you a little overview of everything here, you know. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like, hit subscribe, comment below. Always love to have comments on anything, you know, anything that you see there. Maybe you want your favorite car or something from your childhood. Let me know. Until next time, this is Dave saying goodbye, drive safe. See you next time. Bye.